Happy Monday, T Squad, and welcome back to the Color Me Pink channel. So today I've got some piping hot, juicy Real Housewives of Atlanta gossip to spill. Guess who's making a grand comeback to RHOA? That's right, you read the title, Phaedra Parks is back and the fans are losing their ish, all right? For those of you who might not know, Phaedra Parks is a former cast member of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's known for her quick wit, southern charm, lies, falsehoods, fallacies, horrible fashions, and more. And also her fair share of drama. The official announcement that she just posted on Instagram, you see her getting off of a private jet with all of her Louis Vuitton luggage and she's holding a peach and she captioned the photos you called I answered with a peach emoji hashtag R-H-O-A hashtag season 16. Huh so I guess she's getting off of a plane from Atlanta to Atlanta. <laughs> Because she just finished filming Married to Medicine. Hmm. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Well, Portia, I'm pretty sure, is jumping up and down with excitement and happiness because she has been championing Phaedra returning for quite some time. So this is going to be a good coup for Portia. You see Blame It on Quay in the comment section excited Mia Thornton yes queen queens of Bravo I'm screaming Sierra yes a lot of people are really excited about her return Gretchen Rossi wow you go girl let me just go on the record by saying I would have bet my last dollar that Phaedra was not going to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta a lot of you have been saying she was going to return I refuted it I was like no way Bravo would bring her back to the show especially since since she left under controversial circumstances and her reappearance is causing quite a stir especially considering that season six has already begun film filming actually began in late may we already know that portia williams is returning for season 16 after being gone for the last few seasons kenya moore is out right now due to a suspension we don't know for how long nothing has been seen Said or confirmed from Kenya nor production nor the network um we also have Drew Sador returning Cynthia Bailey is returning as a friend of we have Shamia Morton who has gotten a peach this season and we have newcomers Kelly and Brittany Edie as well as Angela Oakley, who is the wife of NBA legend Bill Oakley. So we already have a jam-packed cast. And to bring Phaedra on, to me, I don't feel like it was necessary or needed. Season 16, to me, was already shaping up to be a great season. It has been filled with drama and controversy already without Phaedra being added to the cast. Mind you, Married to Medicine literally just wrapped filming about two weeks ago two weeks ago so with Phaedra returning that means she's going to be on two Bravo network shows okay so that means she's getting double <laughs> the pay she's getting her check from Married to Medicine and now she'll be getting a check from the Real Housewives of Atlanta I just don't understand what the network thinks that they're going to get out of Phaedra let's just keep it a book her return to reality television on Married to Medicine for their diamond season, their season 10 was a flop, was a huge flop. She came in not wanting to talk about why she was fired from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She did not want to address it. She really didn't open up about anything that was going on in her life. She played the middle she really didn't have any controversy, any drama or anything like that with the ladies. Like she was playing it so safe. Now, I don't know what she's going to bring to season 11 of Married to Medicine. Hopefully she brings it a lot more um, this season. But from what I'm 
scene. It looks like she might make an early exit or something from the show. Before season 11 of Married to Medicine wrapped, the cast took their annual couples cast trip. And as you can see during this scene where they were filming all of the couples, you see Cecil and Simone, Heavenly and Daddy, Jackie and Curtis, Toya and Eugene, where it has question marks above the heads of a couple that is not Phaedra. That that is a new couple that is on the show. I forgot their names, but we have a new couple that has joined the cast. Then you have Contessa and Scott, because Contessa and Scott are returning as kind of like friend, friends of. And then you have Quad and her new man. Where is Phaedra? We don't see Phaedra in this photograph at all, which leads me to believe that she made an early exit maybe, or she didn't go on the cast trip because she's not in a couple and they voted her not to go or something like that. I feel like because she's not in a couple and not married to medicine, that that is going to be the reason why like the girls try to ice her out of the show to get her off of it. So she can have a reason to return to Atlanta. Maybe that'll be the story that they go with in order to make it make sense of why she's on two shows in one season. So I think that that's how they're going to play it. They're going to play it where she's not married to medicine. So she doesn't need to be on the show, blah, 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 blah. She's going to leave, exit, and go to Atlanta. I think that that's what the network and production probably came up with the idea to do to make her be able to jump over to Atlanta mid-season. Because other than that, it really doesn't make any sense. I also don't like the fact that she will be on two shows in one year. Like, that's crazy. Like, she's going to get a check for Married to Medicine, a six-figure check. Then she's about to get another six-figure check to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm looking like, why is she being rewarded in such a way when she brought nothing to Married to Medicine? Now, she did a great job on The Traders. Great job, which we all know is a Peacock show. Great for the network had high ratings, but she did absolutely nothing for Married to Medicine. Unless she really brings it in the time that she's on Married to Medicine for season 11, I really don't get it. I really honestly don't. She really is going to have to come with it if she's going to be returning to Atlanta. She can't be playing the fence. She is going to have to talk about what happened between her and Candy. Okay, that is a must. We need to know what's going on. We need to know what's going on in her life. She can't be playing the middle. She can't be on the fence and all of that stuff. And I'm just not excited about it. I don't think that it was needed. I think that they need to stop bringing back OGs. Give the opportunity to new women to take this show and other Real Housewives uh, franchises forward. It's time to give other people a chance okay I have been screaming this for the longest okay and unless Phaedra wows me I ain't excited about it I'm just gonna keep it a book you know I'm just really not excited about it I'm not excited about seeing freaking frack back together again because it just brings me back to season nine and what happened was it season nine or season 10? That was disgusting behavior. Like how you gonna bring Phaedra back after she was literally lied on Candy and said that she was trying to smug and great Portia. But y'all suspend Kenya for putting a Peter Weeder by somebody's face in a picture. Hmm. That makes sense. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, what are we doing here? Like, Bravo is all over the place. They make one good decision and then they follow it up with 10 bad decisions. I just, I just can't rock with it. I'm not down for it. It's hypocritical AF, okay? I'm side-eyeing everybody over there as far as the network producers, production, Andy, because it doesn't make sense. It literally doesn't. If you are suspending Kenya for putting a Peter Weeder by somebody's face or 
allegedly showing schmexually explicit photos of somebody in the act, which is already on the internet. Now, this ain't nothing she made up. This is actual footage of something that somebody did, which is not revenge p then how are you bringing back phaedra that doesn't make sense you might as well have not suspended kenya if this was the route y'all was gonna go huh girl get out of here y'all like y'all not gonna raise my blood pressure today <sighs> y'all let me know down below in the comment section are you excited about phaedra's return do you think that it's a bunch of country crock like i do do you think that it is hypocritical hypocrisy do you think that it is a wise decision a smart decision do you think that phage is gonna bring it let me know how y'all feel i can't wait to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comment section please make sure to thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you know when my videos drop i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one Bye.